Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a little guessing game in C++. And this is going to be cool because we're actually going to be able to use some of the stuff that we've been learning up to this point in the course. So we'll use things like uh, while loops, if statements, we'll use variables. We'll use all sorts of stuff in order to build this game. So essentially how this is going to go is the user is going to try to guess a secret number. Right, so I'm gonna have a secret number stored here in my program and the user's job will be to try and guess what that number is. So the concept of the game is pretty simple and as you'll see in a second, it's actually pretty simple to program something like this. Um, but here's the one caveat is, if the user doesn't get the guess right on the first try, I wanna keep asking them, keep prompting them to enter in another guess. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, how we can do this. So the first thing I wanna do is create our secret number. So I'm just gonna make an integer and I'm just gonna call it secret num. I'm just going to set this equal to, I don't know, let's say seven. So seven is going to be our secret number. And then the next thing I want to do is create another integer, which we're going to call guess. And I'm not going to give guess a value right up front. Um, so now we have our secret number and we have our guess. And we want to be able to keep asking the user to guess what the secret number is until they get it right. So whenever something needs to be done continually, that's usually a good sign that we wanna use a while loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and say while, I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses and I'm gonna make an open and close curly bracket. So inside of this while loop, we wanna continually ask the user to enter in the number until they get it right. So what I wanna do here is specify a condition. In other words, I wanna keep looping while the secret num is not equal to the guess. So as long as the guess is not equal to the secret num, in other words, as long as the user hasn't guessed correctly, I wanna keep going through this loop. Now, every time through the loop, I wanna prompt the user to input a number. So I'm just gonna say C out, and we'll basically just say enter guess. So they're gonna enter the number that they wanna guess, and then down here, we want to be able to get that answer. We want to store it in a variable. So I'm just going to say C in two greater than signs, and I'm just going to put guess here. So basically what we're telling C is that we want to take whatever the user enters, store it inside of the guess. And so basically every time we go through this loop, the user is going to be guessing, and then we're going to check their guess against the secret num. If they got the secret num right, then we'll just break out of the loop. So down here, if they end up getting out of the loop, that means they got the guess right. So I can just print out you win. So we'll give them a success message. All right, so this is essentially all we need to build our guessing game. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this program and we'll see how we did. All right, so it says enter guess. So I'm just gonna enter in some numbers. So you can see I entered in a three. That wasn't the secret number. So I can keep entering in different guesses. And no matter how many times I guess, uh, it's gonna keep asking me to guess until I get it right. Now, let's try to get the guess right. So the secret number was a seven. So when I enter a seven in now, all of a sudden the condition that was in that while loop is gonna be false. So the secret num is gonna be equal to the user's guess and we'll break out of the while loop and it's gonna say you win. So that's essentially how we can build our little guessing game. Now I will say down here, I created this game using a while loop, right? But there's actually another way that we could build this using a do while loop. So your homework for this tutorial is to go off and see if you can do this using a do while loop instead of just a normal while loop. All right, so here's the thing. This is actually a pretty fun game and it works out. We were able to program it really easily, but the game's a little bit unfair. It's unfair in the sense that the user gets essentially unlimited guesses. So they can guess as many times as they want. And honestly, that doesn't seem fair. So what we could do is we could impose some sort of a guess limit. So I could say, hey, the user's only able to guess like three times and then they lose the game, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we can actually program something like that. We're gonna need to add in a couple extra variables. Uh, the first variable I'm gonna add in is gonna be called guess count. And this variable is basically just gonna keep track of how many times the user has tried to guess the secret number. So every time the user guesses a secret number, we wanna increment the guess count. And I'm actually gonna set this equal to zero initially because the user will have guessed zero times. Then down here, every time the user guesses, I'm gonna increment the guess count. So I'm just gonna say guess count plus plus. So now we're basically able to keep track of how many times the user has tried to guess the secret number. All right, we're gonna make another variable over here. And I basically just wanna call this 
guess limit. And guess limit is going to specify how many times the user is able to guess until they lose. So why don't we set this equal to three? So we'll say that the user gets three guesses. If they can't get the word in three guesses, then they're gonna lose the game. All right, and then one more thing, we wanna create another variable, which is gonna be a Boolean. And this is gonna be called out of guesses. And I'm gonna set this equal to false initially. So out of guesses will tell us whether or not the user has any guesses left. If out of guesses is false, that means the user has guesses left, right? Because they're not out of guesses. If it's true, it means they don't have any guesses left because they ran out of guesses. All right, so now that we have these variables, I wanna show you guys um, how we can modify this while loop. All right, so down here, every time we go through this while loop, you'll see that we're letting the user guess the number. But here's the problem, if the user doesn't have any guesses left, then we don't want them to be able to guess the number, right? In other words, if they've reached the guess limit, we don't wanna give them another guess. So what I can do here is I can actually use an if statement. And what I'm gonna say is if guess count is less than guess limit. So if the guess count is less than the guess limit, then I'm gonna let them guess, right? Because if this condition's true up here, that means that they still have some guesses left, right? They haven't reached the guess limit. So then they're gonna be able to guess, we'll increment the guess count, etc. Otherwise though, if the guess count isn't less than the guess limit, that means that they ran out of guesses, right? So what I wanna do is I want to toggle this Boolean. So basically I wanna say out of guesses is equal to true. So I'm telling my program that they ran out of guesses. All right, so once we've set this equal to true, now we're basically done inside of this while loop, right? So every time we go through, we're checking to see if they have any guesses left. If they do, then we let them guess. Otherwise, we tell our program that they're out of guesses. There's one more thing that we have to do to this while loop, which is modify the condition. And up here in this while loop condition, we can use uh, this and operator. And this and operator will allow me to put two conditions inside of there. So I could say while secret num is not equal to guess, and we can check another condition. So what I wanna do is I wanna check to see if they're out of guesses. So I wanna check to see if out of guesses, and I wanna check to see if they're not out of guesses. So we're gonna keep looping as long as they haven't guessed the secret word and they're not out of guesses, right? If one of those becomes false, so if they run out of guesses or if they guess the secret word, then we're gonna break out of the loop. So that's essentially what's happening here. All right, so one more thing, down here below the while loop, we have this C out and we're just printing out you win. But this isn't technically correct because if the user runs out of guesses, then they're gonna break out of the loop but they didn't win, so we shouldn't tell them that they won, we should tell them that they lost. So what I'm gonna do is make another if statement, and I'm gonna to check to see if out of guesses. So if out of guesses is equal to true, then I just wanna print out a you lose message. And otherwise, if it's not equal to true, in other words, if they had guesses left, that means that they won, so that means they guessed the secret word. All right, so let's go ahead and run this program and we'll see how we did. All right, so down here it says enter a guess, so why don't we try to lose the game? So I'm just gonna say three, four, and two. So this is our last guess. If we don't get it on this try, that means that we lose, so you lose, right? So we lost the game. All right, so looks like it's working. So now, instead of being able to guess infinite times, we can only guess three times. Let's see if we can win the game now, so we're gonna guess like a three, a two. Now we're on our last guess. I'm gonna say seven. And when I enter this, it says you win. So we were able to win the game uh, as well. All right, so this is sort of how we can use all of these different programming structures together. So you'll see down here, not only did I use this while loop, and not only did I use all these variables, but I also used if and else in combination with all that stuff. And really this is, what real programming is gonna look like. You know, it's not just gonna be like little simple examples. It's gonna be a little bit messy just like this. Not that this is messy code, but we wanna be able to use all of these different programming structures in combination. There's also one more thing I wanna tell you guys, which is the way that I wrote this little algorithm, this little function here, we could have written this like a dozen different ways. So I could have programmed this game 
And, you know, I can think of like at least two or three other ways that I could have done this. And this is another lesson in programming is that generally there's going to be like five or six different ways to do the same thing. So I could have done this with a do while loop. I could have used different things. I could have used like a break statement or, or something else. And so that's one of the cool things about being a programmer is it's going in and trying different ways uh, to do the same thing. But that's basically how we can build this guessing game. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about seeing all those different structures like ifs and whiles and variables and all that stuff used together. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.